everyone, Kim here. I am going to make a plant hanger today and just wanted to give you some instructions on that. You will need some scissors, um, a yardstick, a yarn or string of some kind, embroidery floss would work, and then these are uh, yogurt cups with from the Wee brand. So you can use these. You can also use a, a, a votive candle holder. So that would work as well. Let's go ahead and get started. You're going to cut three pieces. One yard long. So you'll need three of those. And it doesn't have to be exact. If you just want to do um, an approximate, that's fine too. So we're going to put all three of our pieces together. Matching the ends, we'll stretch it out. And then we're going to find the middle. So we'll do just a rough um, edge here. So we'll find the middle. going to be right there. We're going to put our pieces together and we're going to tie a loop. This will give us a place to hang. So we'll tie a loop in there, making sure we get all three, three pieces of our yarn out. So we just made a, a knot and left a little loop here. And that way you can hang it on a hook, a nail, some whatever works for you. So we're going to spread our yarn out. We're gonna go down, I don't know, maybe, let's see, maybe four inches or so. And again, and it doesn't have to be an exact science. I'm gonna go down, but you wanna pull two strings together, go down about four inches, and then make a knot. And you want to keep these pretty even from each section. So just grab any two, it doesn't matter. Go down about four inches. Make a knot. Okay. So now you should have your string together. You've got three knots in it approximately even. If it's not exact, that's okay. So the next part, we don't need the ruler or the yardstick for. So we're going to take our sections that we've already knotted, and we're going to knot one, one string from the first section and one string from the second section. Match these up, come down about the same. And we'll tie a knot. So now it looks like that. So you have one from the first section and one from the second section, and you've made a knot. Now you'll take one from the second section and one from the third section. And measure down about, about the same distance. And that's just a rough measurement. Then we'll make a knot. Okay. So let's spread this out into our sections. So now it should look something like that. With these last two sections, one from the first and one from the third, we're going to put those together. I'm going to make a knot approximately the same length. Okay. So now it's going to look like this. Then we're going to come down a little ways. And again, it's not an exact science. We want to make sure 
that our um, container will fit. So we're gonna come down, I don't know, maybe a couple inches or so, and we're gonna tie all of the strings together and make a knot at the very end. Making sure we get all six strings. Through. Mm, having a little trouble with that. Okay, got all six strings through. We'll pull a knot, make it kind of tight. I'm going to go ahead and cut these so they're even. So you get a rough idea of what that looks like. All right. Then we are going to pull our strings apart and it looks like a Jacob's Ladder kind of thing. So it's going to look like that. Let's set it down. We're going to put the um, jar right in the middle of that bottom knot, that last knot that we created. And we're going to pull it up and even it out. And so yours will look like that. get a better shot. Oops. So you can put a candle, um, a very short candle, or a plant inside there. And that's all you need to do. If you uh, had white string or um, just ivory string, you could always go around some of these sections with embroidery floss just to give it a little color. You could also paint it as well. So. There you go. I hope you guys have a great day and join us again for our next project in October. Thanks. Okay.